My research, my current latest research, is trying to develop methods that exploit the increasing availability of large amounts of genetic data that are becoming available and released by international disease consortia. So in the past, when people did Mendelian randomization studies, we typically did it with just one gene. One gene which we knew uh, was influencing a particular risk factor like HDL cholesterol. Mm -hmm. But now it's possible to do Mendelian randomization analyses with hundreds of genetic variants because of the increasing availability of these big data sets. So we want to develop methods that can exploit lots of genetic variants simultaneously. But as we have included more and more genetic variants in, in our MR analysis, it's increasingly likely that some of them actually violate the crucial assumptions that are necessary for Mendelian randomization to draw causal inferences. So for example, if we have 100 genetic variants in our analysis, if one of those genetic variants exerts a direct effect on heart disease risk, and it doesn't operate purely through its influence on HDL cholesterol, then that gene is said to have a horizontal pleiotropic effect on heart disease risk. And horizontal pleiotropy is a threat to the validity of the MR analysis. It will lead to bias conclusions and then misleading public health guidance. My sort of latest research is about how to use the sort of causal effect estimates that we obtain from lots of different genetic variants to try and detect whether some of those genetic variants are invalid instruments. We use a, a range of statistical bias adjustment methods, but also graphical tools where the pleiotropic variants show up as outliers on a, uh, a sort of a summary data plot like this one here, so that scientists can identify possible pleiotropic variants and then investigate them further and potentially remove them from the analysis before proceeding.